Okay, welcome back. We're going to do something a little bit different. So Nabarene was curious about air. Yes. And air is the most difficult start to do. It's hard to really go air. Typically, especially in 1v1s, you go air later game. Um, and the the weird thing about going air is you never start with air because the air constructors are garbage and the lab's expensive and every airplane's expensive. So you need to start with a different lab so you can get units out to do your building and expanding before going air to get what you want out of the game. Because I am still learning the early game, we felt like it would probably be a little bit of a slog to watch me. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to watch the E play and do an air build. And I will be a member of the audience and we'll just try and talk through it and ask questions as they come. That way, um, it'll go a little bit faster and we will all be able to learn watching somebody who has done this kind of before. Um, that way it doesn't take, as I said, as long as it would <laughs> if I was sitting there trying to figure out all of the commands as well. Um, as well as trying to do a build queue. Yeah, and uh, so because I'm going to be teaching, um, also I'm not great at air myself, because I'm going to be teaching, I'm going to just throw a simple AI in here that's not going to do much, but they will attack me eventually. Um, I'll make it Armada since I'm Cortex. Um, the other thing is if you go air, you kind of want to go Cortex because their early air is much, much better than Arm's early air. Arm okay. has better air to ground late game. Um, but early on, the core stuff is just better. So if we're using terms that other people are throwing around, like this would be if your macro is air, you go cortex. Uh, micro macro doesn't necessarily apply to, I mean, I guess that would work <laughs> because macro is akin to strategy, but macro usually means... Um, expanding out, building lots and lots of units to overwhelm the enemy with numbers. Uh, and <laughs> so micro is, I want you units to kill this, this, and this, avoid that and kill this macro like management. Yes. What the heck is this? Exactly. Exactly. Macro is select all attack move. Okay. <laughs> so that, that's the difference. I'm, I'm at mac macro. Like that's what I do. Yes. There's nothing, I can't figure out the micro right now. Okay. So you'll be able to see everything. I won't be able to see anything you ping, but if you ask any questions, I will answer. So I'm going to go right. ahead and start the game here. All right. So I want to start there. Throw that down. Throw that down. Those. Uh, I cannot see your build. I here. know. That's unfortunate. You will see it in a moment when it all pops up. Here you go. You'll see what I've pl placed down and I'll explain why. So I start with a mex, um, then throw a solar panel and a wind turbine down. Uh, right, so you have either source of power. The solar panel is just to kind of stabilize my economy if I need it and I can eat it later. The wind turbines are going to be my primary source of energy because they're so cheap. They're actually slightly more expensive than the arm wind turbines, and the solar collectors, the core solar collectors, are actually slightly cheaper than the arm solar collectors. Um, so there's there's little tiny bits of uh, fine tuning that you have to figure out when you play one faction or another. I prefer arm because sharpshooter go boom and starlight go fweem. But Cortex is a lot of fun, too. There's no, like, one faction isn't necessarily better than the other. It's really all about personal preference. And my commander just walked through my lab. Yes, I noticed. So you, as soon as that is being built, you can start a build? Yes, I told plan. you okay. that in our yes. first video. Yes, I just am re-familiarizing myself. Because mm -hmm. I noticed that it immediately started. Yep. And you can see I'm still pretty low on energy here. Um, but I'm not running out yet. So I'm going to build this other one. And then I'm going to throw two more solar collectors. Or not solar collectors. Two more, eh, maybe three more wind turbines. I'm going to throw down. Because I'm going to be playing defensively. 
I'm going to throw down a couple of laser towers and a couple of air anti-air towers after my radar. This guy, I'm going to have him start building a construction turret. I have this construction bot assist that construction turret when it's done. Hopefully I don't run out of metal here. I probably will, actually. Not doing too bad so far. So after you're done with that construction turret, you'll take one of your bots and go and get more metal? Well, my commander's going to go out and get more metal. Well, I see I see that, but... Um, and actually... <sighs> this is tricky, because I'm, I'm really low on metal right now. Go back this way. Throw a laser tower right by the lab. Aircraft spotted. Oh, oh, you already have nope. a buddy. We're going to put a thistle down, because he's gone air. You guys to get that guy out. My well, commander just backhanded the airplane. Yep. That'll happen. So I've already mismanaged my economy a little bit here. Which happens. Happens to the best of us. And I am definitely not the best. I'm going to reclaim this lab. And then you are going to build an air plant. Right there. So... Oh. You just got a couple of construction bots, mm -hmm. but nothing else. This time, yeah. I mean, if I were playing it against a barb, I would do this a little bit differently, but I am not playing against a barb. So if you were playing against a barb, you would get some defense bots as yes. well? Okay. Or if I was in a 1v1 against anybody else, right? Right. Um, Generally, a, a fast air play like this means that you are not a frontliner. Um, okay, and we'll get scouts. Uh, shurikens out. Shurikens are really good. Valiants and some bombers. So, say that you were you were playing a multiplayer, and you were on a large team, and this is what you would do if you were the air guy. Yes. Uh, with the caveat that I am definitely not a pro player. Well, of course. And there are plenty of players out there far, far, far better than me. Go to... No, not repeat. I want a high priority. There we go. Okay. So they have construction aircraft. They've, they've got scouts, fighters, bombers, light paralyzer drone. So... And then the air transports. I've heard about air transports. Are those capable of, like, picking up Low your power. units and bringing them back to the base? Correct. Okay. Do they do that on their own when they sense danger? Like No, what? you have to manually control them. Well, that seems super lame. <laughs> Not really. Oh, bomber. You'll see laser towers do engage bombers. They just don't do a lot of damage to them. Okay. And him falling out of the sky like that is a sign of why you want to include your uh, aircraft with fighter escort. You too. Build me that. Um. So you have drones that are being built and then sit on the ground. Uh, so when you do you have them on maneuver and they no you have to air is also very micro oriented uh, sounds like I'd hate it mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so how do you get them to once they're built just kind of fly around the way that there's you do there's a setting right on here you select the air lab yeah I've got uh, it it asks you uh, that it says land or attack and it says what aircraft do when leaving air factory. If you have it on land everything except for fighters will land. Get that going. Another one of these. Everything looks different because it's not used. I'm not used to this. So these yeah. are advanced solar collectors. Why are the advanced solar collectors smaller than the, the base one? They're advanced, okay? Okay. <laughs> I like that the radar tower looks like a flower. 
Tower flower? Yes. Tower flower power, even. Low power. Yeah, I'm already, I'm struggling with energy because I am not very good at air because I never go air. So people in the comments will almost certainly tell me all the things I'm doing wrong, which is totally fine. Here's an example of micro. So that uh, that light gunship was attacking my unit. I told my commander to repair the thing it was attacking. While well, something else shot it down. Yes. Okay. So watching the simple AI over here with his air. It's mostly, he's, you know, obviously it's a simple AI, but he's got his solar collectors, not a lot of metal, like, at all, and then his construction is mostly just, he's mostly just making tiny little scouts. Lots yeah. of construction aircraft, but not much. Yeah, you'll notice that back at my base, I'm continuing to expand the economy. Yes, but it, you like, so if, if every aircraft is expensive to make, how do you ever stay on top of metal when you're doing? It's not metal they're expensive with, it's energy. Okay. I guess that's true, going over them. Mm-hmm. So if you are going air, then you want the biggest energy economy you can possibly make. Which is the reason for the big wind farm off to the left side of my base. Sure, I see it. Would you go about making economy in multiple places? Because I know that if, if like one of those turbines is taken out by something big, it'll explode the entire thing, won't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so one of the things you can do is you can expand out the grid. So if you select a construction bot, my wind turbine, and it's, you know, uh, Shift-Alt to make that. While holding Shift-Alt, if you press Z, it makes the grid bigger. If you press X, it makes it smaller. So two, two is usually good enough to keep it from going out, but I don't need to build those because I've got these other guys going. And you'll see how I've got... I'm wasting tons of energy right now. Yes. So you're building little energy storages, yes? yes? Well, no, these oh. aren't storages. These are converters. I'm going to turn that oh, energy into, into metal. metal. And we're going to clear this queue. And we're going to eat this. So you have moved these patrolling things over here, these little triangles... How do you get them to patrol a specific area? So right now, we, uh, fighters don't land. They uh, they just fly all the time. So you can just tell them to move and they fly in that little circle. Okay. You can tell them pa to patrol by clicking an area and hitting P. That looks like nasties. See, and my fighter's doing fighter things. Yeah. It looks like he's exclusively air, which you don't I wouldn't recommend. be exclusively air if I weren't trying to show off an air build. Sure. So a lot of times what would happen at this point is uh, you would get a constructor from one of your friends, like a T2 constructor. But that's not what's going on here. And I feel like that will be, like, way later on we'll actually have a team and how you do teams. Yeah. Go get them, fighters. Good job. So, if you are doing air, you recommend having fighters first after, after 
basic economy stuff figured out. Mm-hmm. You have fighters patrol your your front line. Yeah, fighter. Well, you also want the shuriken drones, like these guys. And I've got them on a hot queue right now so that they can go stun any ground units that come in. I know he's not going to come with ground units because he's a... He he's is a, a dumb, yeah, a really yes. dumb AI. Commander not doing anything, which is bad. Always have your commander doing something if you can. Because he has so much build power. And he's so fast. Yes. Well, he, he's really slow, but yeah, he has well, lots of build power. Yeah. So, I'm looking at tidal speed. Would you want to make a tidal collector thingy? They are worth it early on at 10, but not on a map with this much wind. Okay. Wind is just a little wind better. Is like, wind is like totally inexpensive to build. Yeah. Okay. Making some T2 fighters, and then going into hailstorm bombers. I'm still building, uh, I'm upgrading my metal extractors now back at base okay. with my fleet of construction aircraft. Yeah, they're struggling. You're low on your metal. Uh, that's fine. I'm gonna bring my, I wouldn't bring my commander out this late. Might just have him come back and assist the air lab. Also going to eat up some of my wind turbines because I don't need them anymore. Let's see, and we're going to get a fusion reactor rolling. So you don't need the wind turbines now because why? Just because you have the so much energy? The advanced solars have plus 75. They're more efficient than the wind turbines. I didn't eat the ones off on the left just because they're far away. Mm -hmm. And you can see how fast I can build these bombers now, but my energy is not ideal and that's because I'm building these bombers so fast and my Nighthawks in to go deal with those airplanes and we have some our first ground guys coming in Let's see what happens. He gets stunned. Mm -hmm. The bombers. And then the bombers pegging. bomb. Yep. So actually, at this point, do you have to tell the drones to paralyze him, or will they maneuver on their own? I think they'll get up and go on their own eventually, but they are very, very, very uh, micro-intensive. So, in t when you tell them to do that. You select them and then right click on whatever it is that you want them to paralyze. Yes. Um, you can also do an area attack and they'll attack everything in an area or tell them to fight and they'll zap things. But the trick is, is when something is paralyzed, you want it to stay paralyzed, but you also want to paralyze the rest of the things in the group, right? So if you have 20 drones paralyzing one thing, but there's still 19 other things not being paralyzed, this is problem. So now I have a bunch of air. I'm moving it all forward. So before you move forward, you want paralyzers to help the bombers. You want the fighters to get all the other little things. Are there any well, other... The paralyzers are really more defensive units. Okay. Just to keep things out of your base. Yeah. So I've got a bunch of bombers, tier one and tier two. But I'm now moving into his base. You see my fighters go are going ahead yeah. of the bombers. Because the bombers are slower. Yes, and they will also find the anti-air.
So this is this is the micro part. Like you can tell your things to attack things. You can pull them away from fighters or other things. And you can see how quickly everything goes down. And so, this is not a particularly fast air climb here. But I'm not doing great because there's all sorts of, like, I, I could have killed him faster if I was good. Right, and you didn't have any tier 2 whatsoever. Well, no, I've got tier 2 bombers here. Oh, you do? Yeah, I, I pulled my other air lab in and built a T2 lab. Oh. That's what the bombers are. Well, the bigger ones are. There are two. You can see there's two sets of bombers: whirlwinds and hailstorms. The hailstorms are the are strategic bombers. They're tier two. There he is. Metal extractor lost. Why would something be called a strategic bomber? What does that mean? It just means it drops more bigger bombs. Okay. Very strategic. Well, I mean, I just, I just strategically wrecked him, so. <laughs> of course, now, if you look at back at my base, he's sent a guy in. Yeah, he's got two, actually. And he's stunned. And I used my uh, extra eco to build these this bot lab to go deal with that. Is there a limit to how often you can stun something to keep it there? No. Huh. Some units are resistant to stun. Where are my fly where are my flap flaps? There they are. They're attacking. So you can see how air power can win a game. Yes. Well, I know that whenever I hear you guys are like, aircraft spotted, you all go, oh. So. And this is me guessing where he is. Guessing? Because I, I can't see him. The oh, bombers have see? very small, uh, very small sight. I'm literally bombing where I think he's going to go. That explains why you were very happy to obliterate all metal. <laughs> there he goes. Sumo was totally annihilated. Big nod. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's that's kind of how air works in a nutshell. Um, and my nutshell is fine because it's not like I need nitty gritties at this point. Yeah, and so it's it's not easy and it's very yeah. micro intensive it's not easy going air exactly so the other thing you need to master in a game like this is you need to be able to continually scale your economy and i actually wasn't doing a great job there because i was microing too much and i focused yeah. on my that's why i don't usually go air because it's harder to remember to build your base and fight where the ground is, I'm like, okay, go over there, and I build a build queue back at my base, and I go back, and I mess with what's going on with the battle, and I go back to my base, oh, your build queue's done, build more stuff. Right. You always want to be expanding your economy constantly, whether that means building out and taking more of the map to use those resources, or if that means building vertically, like upgrading all your stuff, building fusion reactors, advanced fusion reactors, and the metal, the advanced metal converters. So I did want to talk about, like, uh, the... The, the fusion and like how to climb that ladder. So if you want, we can do another one because that last one was really fast. Um, we can do another one and I can show you how I build my economy. Okay. So we'll go again. And this time 
I'm gonna go arm because I I'm better at arm because I know the units just like you you understand arm and also since that's what you've played that will help you understand what's going on switch to armada I'll start in the same spot and I'll do metal extractor wind turbine wind turbine bot lab then metal ex then uh, probably another wind turbine metal extractor metal extractor metal extractor many wind turbines ready So this is going to be a more traditional start for me, um, as if I were in a 1v1. And then what we can do with the next series of videos is we can have you um, try some of these strategies out. If that's something you're comfortable with. That's fine. Because I don't want to make this series about me. It's about helping you learn. Right. I thought maybe it would be interesting if the next one I attempt more to get a good economy and scaling um, after watching this right um, and see how quickly I can do that not how quickly I can kill the dude because then it's done right and I'm not learning anymore um, so the scaling while still getting defense out yeah. low power because it's the speed with which, like, for example, even just getting a tick out like that. Because I get so caught up on, okay, I need to build this stuff. What are the keys? Oh, crap. My whole build queue just left. <laughs> um, and then my bots aren't being built because I've been too busy trying to fix something that I messed up. Mm -hmm. Like you can see here, I'm not even... I'm not worried too much about defense. I want early on with the ticks. Ticks are actually very good early game defense. Yeah. Um, they have a lot of DPS for the metal that they cost. A lot. I'm trying to get these four mexes as quickly as I p possibly can. And then this guy is going to build. Build turret right away. And he's going to help him when he builds, when he's done. Then after that build turret, I want you to build Advanced Solar Collector. Another build turret. Advanced Solar Collector. Another build turret. Advanced Solar Collector. And you see how I'm building my economy buildings right next to my uh, construction turrets? Yeah. That's so, so they he can doesn't... Do it. Yeah, they, they can help. And then my... Uh, my construction units don't have to go as far. My commander's not doing anything. Move him north. He will leave a single laser tower here and a radar, and then move north. Another radar. Two laser towers. Radar. Two laser towers. Let's go take a peek at what he's doing. I'm building my first pawns now. Hmm. This might not be best. You. What is not best? Uh, my energy is a little low, so I'm dropping another solar. And I have enough, or another wind, and I'm dropping a solar as well before I continue on with the queue that I made just to bolster my energy production. And just to help with quick key stuff. You did that by alt space, or was it shift space? It's control space. Control space. See, like, ugh. So the shift space was something else. What is shift space? I don't remember. Don't know. Okay. I know control space puts it right at the beginning of the queue, regardless of what's happening. Um, and you can see my energy is doing a lot better now because I've got that advanced solar up. Right. And I'm now turning that energy into metal by building more metal extractors. And I've got more build turrets back home. Build one of those, and then another one of these. At this point, you would want to make converters, right? Which you just started well, one. If you... Yes. So, 
that's going into the queue after I finish these other two solar panels mm -hmm. because I'm pretty well balanced right now and I'm still expanding on my mexes. Um, and I'm, I'm also quite low on defense. Like I'm very vulnerable right now. Yeah, I, I, I know. <laughs> so a lot of times I get people going, how do you build so many units? It's like, it's because if you'd hit me really early, I'd be dead. <laughs> And in, in our circle of friends, uh, a lot of them tend to play conservatively against me because I'm so aggressive. When, ironically, the best thing to do against me is to be even more aggressive. Right, aggressive, because you you scale your economy before you really build. He's got baddies here, but he can't shoot me, so I'm going to try and break some stuff. Nope. 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 Ah, made him shoot his own thing. Don't shoot me. I hate you. Oh, dang it. <laughs> and now I've got pawns on repeat back on my base. I've got another guy. How are we doing? Still building laser towers. We'll move these guys up here. So you are strapped for metal super hard because you are building solars. It's yes, the I'm I'm using a lot of the metal for that. I'm also going to now eat some of my wind turbines. So if you want to eat all of a certain amount of building in an area, you press E, then hold Alt and drag a circle, and it will eat every building of the type you selected. And you can see now I've got a bunch of metal. Energy converter, build a T2 lab. Clear Q. Eat the bot lab. And it at all. Ah. Uh -huh. Yep. Now that's got a big boost. Now it's slowing down. Now I'm in trouble a yes. little bit. These guys aren't doing anything. Well, actually, I'm eating the one that is doing something. I'm going to eat two more to feed the bot lab. Two of my construction turrets. So the trick of, with this is like, oh, I'm out of metal. I need more metal. Where's the metal? Right. Where can right. I find metal? Oh, look. These guys are doing something. I will use this metal. And you can see that's almost enough to get that ball lab done. But I don't want to go down below two build turrets because I still have to build those again later. Right. So now I'll just be patient. Um, this is a little slow, but I'm, I'm explaining things. You see, now I'm getting my butlers and my advanced construction bot up. I mean, I guess you could get a reclamation bot going and just eat everything that shows up there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my advanced construction bot here, and then I'm going to build five hounds. Just to assist... Yes. And my uh, my advanced construction bot is now building the mix and upgrading that. But the hounds the hounds are good defense bots. Because right now I only I only have six bots to defend against. So again, this is a very fast tech. Like I already have a tech two bot. Right. And it's not even 10 minutes in the game. So this, again, this play style is different from than if I'm fighting a pure opponent than I would be sticking with tech one. This is a problem here with vehicles. Low power. 
See, I'm running around them like that? Mm hmm That makes it harder for them to fire at my units. If I just let them sit, they would have all died, but instead I killed them. I need... Um, low power. Solar panel. Solar panel. Solar panel. Up a couple of these up here. And then go eat that. So let's say that you were low, both on metal and on power. At that point, would you go back to basics and just do a basic solar collector farm just to get the power back up? Well, I'm low on power, so I'm actually dropping a few wind turbines up north with my commander. Right. Um, I'm also dropping more solar collectors down below. The other thing you do if you're low on power is you stop building. Right. But you don't want to do that if you can avoid it. If I can avoid it, yes, but... What I am going to do is get rid of the other two hounds and just put all that metal into solar collecting. We've got another bot coming up, so I'm I'm now doing pretty well. I'm going to build two more build turrets because now everything's going up. So now let's build one, two, three, four, five more hounds. I also just ate a bunch of metal because my commander... Hold those reclaimed. wrecks. Yeah. yeah. Does he does he repair on his own? No, or I told you, him to do that. After you reclaimed? Mm-hmm. And now that we're a little more stable, I'm putting a bot lab forward. I need more energy. More energy. More energy. More footwork. And you can see my hounds are making short work of the things that come in. Not really. They've missed most of it. Well, they were still shooting at radar. Hey, why do your little bots have chevrons above them? Because they have leveled up. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So they, your, your stuff actually gets better as it fights more? Yes, that is a key component of this game. I know you've mentioned that about some bots. I did not realize it was all of them. Yes, it's all of them. Everything gets better. So let's see, 12 minutes. It's still not my fastest. I'm going to build a fusion reactor. And then one advanced energy converter. Fusion reactor, advanced energy converter. So the reason I do this to step it up slowly is because this way I have enough. You see, I have an excess of everything. I can now build units. And build them fast. Fast-ish, but yes. So, when do you suggest going fusion? Because it takes a lot to build a fusion it reactor. It does take a lot to build a fusion. You need at least, I would say, at least, like, 40 to 50 metal. And I have a, I have a lack of units, so I'm going to go ahead and res these guys and make them mine. This is another micro strategy is where you can grab a bunch of bots. Say he's trying to res that guy, but I kill him. Yes. And now you are getting his stuff. Mm hmm. But you get his stuff and then it's like, well, you have to know what the stuff is in order to use it correctly anyway. So. Yeah. And that's, that just comes with experience. So let's get to repair all these guys.
Then reclaim that little bit of metal there. Tell them to move back. Because there's more baddies coming in. And now I have a constructor. I like that your Lazarus is basically your cleric. Yes, that is what he is. Exactly. Let's see, you guys, I need more these. And so if you look back at my main base, I now have a fusion plant up. Um, and when I get my second fusion plant up, when I, when I start going Aphis, which is what I'm going to do next. Aphis is advanced fusion. Okay. Um... I'm going to eat my solar panels to feed the advanced fusion. Could you eat them now based on how much you have? I could, but you'll notice that I'm actually consuming almost as much as I'm producing right now. I guess. Um, so like I can eat three or four of them. Cause you need metal. Gonna build some more build turrets as well to help out over here. So you can see how it begins to it gets exponential very quickly. Yes. But I feel like it's difficult to get to this point, even if this is quote unquote quick, it's difficult to get to this point if you're going against a peer or a better bot yeah but everything you're seeing here so basically if i was if i was going against a peer i would have stayed at each stage a little bit longer and tried to push out something uh to to get rid of whatever he's attacking me with like if i was going against a peer opponent i might have switched to vehicles because he's gone vehicles and vehicles are a little bit better than bots Oh, and interesting. Hovercraft. What's so interesting about Hovercraft? Just the fact that it went Hovercraft. Okay. Because Hovercraft goes over water. Yeah. So all of your Lazarus are on a group, right? Yeah. So after you, like, select everybody, you select them separately. Well, actually, I haven't put them on a group now. I'm actually just double-clicking them and telling them to do their thing. Okay. But putting them in a the group is a good idea. He's had this um, amphibious construction vehicle up on this, like, mesa, trying to get up to build a thing for about half the game. Mm-hmm. The other thing Lazaruses do that are great is repairing your damaged bots mm -hmm. and it goes so far to to repair your bots while you're holding a front line like this again we are adding smugglers and compasses to my build queue and more sharpshooters oh and i'm almost out of metal here oh but i'm actually maintaining because i've been upgrading all of my mexes slowly with this guy over here I'm confused. You're almost out of metal, but I see this huge amount of metal. Oh, I guess, but it's the plus and minus. Mm-hmm. <sighs> that is so confusing. It makes sense to me. I guess I just have to think of it like a budget, because that's yeah, what it is. Exactly. But yeah, because so this makes sense to you. Shut it. But if Shut but it. if we were <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> Let's look in the bank account. Oh, look Shut at it. that number. <laughs> and now, if you look back, I actually didn't have to delete any of my solar. 
So now if you watch back at the base, look how fast I'm building stuff. But I yes. still don't have enough. I never have enough. So now I build four advanced energy converters. And then one fusion. So at this point, though, because, I mean, yes, you have an absolute amount. Even though your budget is not the best, you have an absolute amount, and it will start yelling at you that you're wasting stuff. So what do you do? You Add get... more build power, more build turrets. You see how many build turrets I have? Yeah. It's actually not enough. I'm going to turn that metal into build power, and then all these things, all these things building for more resources are going to build even faster. Maybe that's really what bugs me about it, is it's confusing because you have this absolute number which looks really big. The, the income versus expense is not the best, but the, the lady is going to be like, you're wasting all this crap. So it's like some third party coming in and going, look at all that money you have in your savings account. You're wasting your money. And that so, to me is like really dumb. Unlike real life, it is actually <laughs> better to be, to not run a surplus in this game. Sure. Like I'm starting to run a surplus, which means I need more build power. I need to be able to spend it faster. Because it's beyond all reason. So I build more build turrets to build it faster. And it's also building my units faster. You can see I'm amassing quite the bunch. Mm. We're going to reiterate, unlike real life... <laughs> Kids, don't go spending your money as fast as you make it. I'm going to do one of my favorite things here in a moment. That being... Nuclear stuff? No, um, the tick spam. Oh. So if you look you're obnoxious. Up, you, well, it works. <laughs> but you can see how the, the philosophy of continuing expanding works. Yeah. So I've almost got my second Aphis up, and then it just gets faster and faster from here. So you don't like turrets to do much except for at the very beginning. You prefer to use bots. That and... is situational, but generally it is better to have mobile combat units than something that is stuck in one spot. Your Lazarus are all in the front line. I'll move them back if that makes you happy. Well, I mean, isn't that the logical thing to do? Do I look like a Vulcan to you? Sometimes. <laughs> that, that's fair. So this this amount of units is enough to kill him. Yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Sniper T2 go boom. Oh, he actually went T2. Nope, never mind. <laughs> tried snipers are so powerful they take like 500 energy per shot so you have to have a lot of energy production right to work. but if something shows its face well he does have tier 2 actually but I won't tell you where it is unit composition is important too like this this composition of units where it's mixed up like this. Yeah, it's good. Things get close and they get killed, but the snipers take care of a lot of the stuff a long way away. And I've got radar and jammers in there. Oh. That's not great. Explain your talking. Sorry. Um, the red circle is jamming, so these guys can't be seen on radar. Um, they can be seen if people can see them. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but they won't show up on radar. Surprise, you killed him. Yep, he did. But does that kind of, uh, 
disambiguate the mystique behind scaling? Yes. The th um, the the fact that I was able to turn the economy into my own terms helped the most. Yeah. So, um, do you want to try it yourself? I can. And we will we will see how I do. It's going to be clunky because I don't have quick fingers with what you know what all yeah. is going on. So go ahead and join Team One. There you go, and ready up and start whenever you're ready. <laughs> 